Okay, well, let's talk about arteriosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Um, now, look, obviously, again, I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I cannot diagnose or treat or cure, diagnose any disease. Uh, so this is a very, very simplistic explanation of heart disease, um, but it's pretty accurate according to my understanding. Uh, one of the things that is very harmful to our body are the number of toxins that we are consuming. Uh, gosh, it could be from the air we breathe and air pollution. It could be from water that we drink. It could be food from the, we, that we eat, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides. Um, gosh, we, li we live in a very, very unhealthy society. And a lot of these foreign materials, when they get inside our body, they cause inflammation. They cause an inflammation response. And oftentimes they do that in our arterial walls, okay? Well, when there's an inflamed area in our body, our body looks at that as an injury, so it wants to repair that. So if we have inflamed area in an artery, our body will release uh, a fat called cholesterol. And I kind of liken it to spackle in a dented wall. You know, when we got a little dent in some drywall, uh, we smooth some spackle paste in there to kind of fill it and cover it up and help repair that dent. And that's kind of what cholesterol does in these damaged arterial walls. Cholesterol goes in there, it's very thick and waxy, and it sticks to that damaged area, okay? And it's meant to help repair it. Our body also releases a thing called fibrin, and fibrin is what scar tissue is made up. And fibrin is released to that area to, again, kind of mesh it over. Now, the problem with cholesterol is it's very, very sticky. It's a waxy kind of fat. And calcium that is flowing through our bloodstream gets stuck in that fat, and when we're talking about arterial walls, we start getting calcium deposits in the walls of our arteries. We get arterial sclerosis or hardening of the arteries. And talking to physicians that I know, when they say when they've done um, either operations or dissections on a cadaver, and they say that they look at these coronary artery um, deposits, they go, it literally is like cement. It's just a hard rocky kind of buildup inside the arteries of our heart. Obviously, that's not very good. Well, it seems to me that there's been just a massive war on cholesterol. Uh, like cholesterol is the sole, you know, evil boogeyman in heart disease. And look, I've read the studies. Half the people that have heart attacks have normal cholesterol. Half the people that have heart attacks have elevated cholesterol. So what do we learn from that? That cholesterol is not the sole answer. The, the, the really the, the problem is fibrin and the stickiness of the cholesterol and the accumulation of calcium. So if we can break down that fibrin, that scar tissue, if we can remove that calcium so that it doesn't build up there, and if we can diminish chronic inflammation, all of those things indicate to me that it's going to be very, very beneficial to our health. And in the protocol that I put together, we have very strong anti-inflammatory components. We have components that dissolve fibrin, and we have components that transport calcium away from the soft tissue of our body to our bones and our teeth. That is my conjecture as to why this thing has worked so incredibly well for me.